Back in January, we saw the stock price of Facebook's parent company, Meta Platforms, crash down by 26%, knocking $230 billion off the firm's valuation. And with that came some smaller headlines that tech business Nvidia had overtaken Meta to become the seventh biggest company in the United States. But what exactly is Nvidia? How does it make money? And just how close could the firm get to the likes of Google, Apple, and Amazon? Here's how it happened. Nvidia was started by its three co-founders. Jensen Huang, Chris Malachowski, and Curtis Priam, all firm in the belief that the PC would one day be for everyone, not just business customers, and their focus would be on graphics chips, especially those that power video games, as they predicted this would be the biggest area of growth over the next 20 years. With $20 million in funding from VC firms like Sequoia Capital, the company launched its first product, the NV1 card, while Sega's Virtual Fighter became the first 3D game to run in video graphics, and kickstarted the video game revolution into three dimensions. In 1997, the Reva 128 chip became the firm's first big success, shipping over a million units in its first four months and paving the way for a successful IPO two years later that raised a further $42 million. Nvidia created the world's first graphics processing unit, the GeForce 256, and also supplied the graphics to the original Xbox from launch in 2001. Unsurprisingly, given all this success, Nvidia was named by Fortune as America's fastest growing company upon the sale of its 100 millionth chip, and began acquiring every rival possible to strengthen their hold on the chip industry. The firm helped develop the processor for Sony's PlayStation 3, and saw its GPUs installed in computers by Apple, Dell, and HP, before being named Forbes Company of the Year in 2007. Despite a class action lawsuit that cost Nvidia nearly half a billion dollars in the replacement of faulty chips, the firm continued to go from strength to strength, powering 2010's fastest supercomputer, the TH1, and forging partnerships with car manufacturers like Ford, Toyota, and Audi to help develop their onboard computers that will one day allow the vehicles to drive themselves. Fast forward to today, and the future of Nvidia is brighter than ever. The company is pursuing advancements in the fields of robotics, gaming, supercomputers, and autonomous electric vehicles. More often than not, the kind of AI and cloud computing that tech companies are investing in will include an NVIDIA product, and so with any technology boom comes an NVIDIA boom too. The firm also recently announced the proposed acquisition of ARM, a producer of CPUs that's helped build iPhone and Android devices among hundreds of others, but was eventually called off due to a struggle to get regulatory approval. And following the bull market among tech companies in the aftermath of the pandemic, which saw NVIDIA's stock price increase fivefold in less than two years, the company received attention for overtaking Meta's valuation, after Mark Zuckerberg announced Facebook's first ever drop in annual users. The most recent chip shortage has provided a blip in Nvidia's output, but with production and distribution chains starting to pick up again, it won't be long before the company is back on form. Now locked in a three-way battle with Intel and AMD, while the other two might be bigger household names, it's actually Nvidia that has the higher stock price, and is fighting the tech battle on multiple fronts. With a team of over 2.5 million developers, Nvidia might just be the biggest company you've never heard of, something that could change if they ever overtake Apple as the world's most valuable company. That's how it happened, and thanks for watching.